What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Brian and Greg play Minecraft. Hey, Brian. In the Minecraft. All right, so here, this is going to pick up right where we left off with yesterday's story. Okay. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Every day we play 10, 30, 15 minutes. Uh, subscribe to YouTube.com slash Minecraft IGN if you don't want all the other junk. All right, so I'm in Missouri, and I'm working for the Daily Newspaper. How old are you? I'd be 22-ish. Okay. Right? Yeah. Is, uh, that I, I, it, it was my first job after college. Yeah, yeah. So I'm daily newspaper, general assignment reporter. And uh, I get the assignment that, you know, that, like we're, we're, I'm going to write this big feature about Lyme disease and these people who are suffering from Lyme disease in Missouri and all this stuff. So I'm interviewing people, going to Lyme disease, like, supporter meetings, all this stuff. Like, I'm – and these people – what what was really disturbing, right, is was that – was the Lyme disease? Well, that uh, – well, I mean, on top of – that's disturbing enough. But what <laughs> was really is, like, these people all were basically thought they were crazy. Because in – it turns out that, like, when you get Lyme disease from a tick or whatever, yeah, uh, th there's a very specific b borealis or n whatever. Uh, uh, I think it's like a star – it's that been a star years. system? It is. Yeah, no, no. Aurora borealis. <laughs> but, uh, like, there's a very specific strand of the disease, right, that is inside of the – Whatever. I should go read my article, I guess, that I wrote yep. about this. Yep. But granted, it's been like eight years, so lay off me. Right. Now, uh, I mean, you probably don't even remember what you gave Uncharted. No, not at all. It's been decades. Uh, there's, that's easy. That's a number. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a very specific strand of like number. whatever disgustingness inside of this thing that gives you t that qualifies it as Lyme disease and uh -huh. qualifies it as yeah. – in Missouri, that strand of stuff had never been reported. Like it, that wasn't being founded in these ticks. Whoa. Like these ticks had something different in them that was then giving people Lyme Lyme disease, but since it didn't have that, it couldn't be qualified specifically as Lyme disease. So okay. you're dealing with people who the CDC of Missouri was reporting nobody had Lyme disease, and then you have all these people who like can't leave their house and have like blankets over their windows and have to like because they're so sensitive to sunlight. Oh, is that what the symptoms do? Some of them, yeah. I mean, like it's one of those things where you you can just be tired or like a whole bunch of horrible crap can happen to you. Oh man, that's a weird luck of the draw there. So I I literally had to write on the, I'm writing the story and researching it and going to these meetings for months. Like it was like a six month story that I was working on for this feature or whatever. Wow. And as it's finally winding down, like I've talked to the CDC, all these people are sick, yada yada yada. I drove into work and sat down at my desk and I'm like you know writing about Lyme disease and ticks and how it's uh, this ep epidemic and yada 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 and I look down and, I, and I'm in my desk in a sh shirt and tie and I look down on my arm which is like my sleeves are rolled up and there is a tick walking up my arm what so I like freak out and knock it off and then I had like the whole the whole kit of like you know if you find a tick put it in this bottle and like it had a little prior you know because you can't squeeze them off because it'll yeah. spit more stuff in you and all this other stuff so I had to like <laughs> I pulled that thing out I caged the tick the tick never bit me but it was like about to it was like, damn, that is. These ticks are serious about not letting the Holy story crap. get out. How did you know it was a tick? Because you could just tell. Oh, because you've been yeah. doing the whole. Well, yeah. I mean, I know what a tick looks like. I don't know. I mean, oh. I just if I saw a tick like on my arm right now, I'd be like, yo, oh, that's a weird ant. <laughs> it would take me a minute. I don't even know if I if I could figure that out. You probably have Lyme disease. I mean. As you were describing the symptoms, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm tired a lot. Maybe I well, have. Well, yeah, like, yeah, that's the whole thing when they, they describe mono, right? Yeah. They're like you're exhausted all the time. Like, oh man, I got mono. Yeah, I've had it my entire has, life. Everybody has mono. I don't know anybody. <laughs> as soon as I stopped getting summers off, I had mono. I didn't even know. That's ev everybody is constantly tired. Have yeah. you noticed that? Yeah, it's terrible. No one is ever just like, oh man, I feel great. Yeah, I usually, I, you know, after a, a restful weekend. Yeah, I can usually come in on a Monday and feel like a million bucks. Yep. And then it's and Monday it crushes you as it always does. <laughs> Today's a Tuesday and it's like a Monday. It's yep, just killing us. It's like us. a Monday. It's crushing. Well, it's a Tuesday when we're recording this. It's a who knows. The jig is up. When we started posting them out of time, <laughs> when time sequences like things How in the future are happening today. You it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a terrible tick story actually. Okay. I don't know if I should tell it. Tell it. Now it's too late. Now you're committed. You can't do that. All right, but it's kind of okay. Whatever. I'm gonna go in with it. So, uh, me and... Wait, I thought you didn't know what ticks look like. I don't look, I know what they look like now, but I mean, back then, I, <laughs> you could have told back me... Back then, they had big afros. Oh, it was a different time. Yeah, they all had, like, you know, uh, Sony Walkman and stuff like that. It was the <laughs> 80s, man. Um, so, me and my brothers, we went uh, hiking with my parents, or, which was basically just, like, we would just go mess around in the woods, and my parents would be like, oh, just get out of the house. So, we went, we went on a nice hike with them. We're walking around, and we're, you know, wearing shorts, because everybody in the 80s wore shorts and stuff like that. Right. Really high cut shorts. Yeah, it was really weird. Weird, right? I don't know why that was a thing. And you know what? That went hand in hand because that's why you don't really hear about Lyme disease anymore. Back then, everybody had to wear like these little umbro shorts, mm -hmm. and everybody just had ticks everywhere. Yeah. So I mean, right there, problem solved. Put I feel like on. there was more outdoors then. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Nowadays, there's not that much outdoors. You're not oh, going outdoors. Oh, like we outdoors. knocked it all down? Yeah. Kind of like what we're doing in this game. Right, exactly. Right now, I'm trying to get enough for some sticks and torches and crap, but yep. you know what I'm saying. So, uh, my brother afterwards, uh, my younger brother, he goes to take he goes to take a bath. Mm -hmm. He's in the bathtub, and he starts screaming. My mom comes running in, and she goes, what's wrong? And he's like, my balls hurt. <laughs> And she goes, well, what do you mean? He goes, it feels like a pinch. Okay. So she goes, stand up. And he stood up, and he had a tick on his balls. <laughs> Gross. Yep. So she had to go and get tweezers. And apparently, I didn't I didn't go to watch this because sure. I'm not going to watch. You're just already making jokes about it. Yeah. I think I, I saw my brother's balls maybe when I was like three. Yeah. That's probably the last time I never, I, I never I, I, like need to see those or right. anybody else's balls really forever. I'm good. I got my own. If I need it, I can look down and be like, there they are. No yeah, ticks. that's – you have a reference for <laughs> <laughs> So uh, she had to go in and tweeze a tick off of his balls. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So then he had to go to the doctor and find out he didn't get Lyme disease. But I guess because what ticks do is they go, oh, man, I really like his balls. Let me, let me check this out for a little bit. Yeah. They don't just dive in. Yeah. They hang on for like a day. So like the one that was on your arm was probably just like – He's hanging out. And he's, he's getting ready to bite. He hasn't he's bit like, yet. Yeah, he's doing. He's looking for the apartment. You know? Right, right, but right, he's right, not, right. He's not ready to put down the money for the first and sure. last month. So this guy deposit. was just inspecting the balls. Yeah. This, this this guy he put like the first month deposit down. Gotcha. Not this. Not this. Yeah, they burrow in. That's the problem. Yeah. Then they get in deep. Yeah, yeah, you that, can't get them out. That, you have yeah. to lose an arm or or a testicle. Pretty much the you cut off the arm or the testicle. So he lived, but he had a tick on his balls. And that was just one of those things that was just like, you know, no matter what. I could always throw that in his face in an argument. Because <laughs> he's a good man, but, you know, uh, you could always just be like, yeah, you're wrong. Well, why? Well, you had a tick on your balls, yeah. idiot. You don't even – I don't, I don't even know reason. I, think, I don't even think they classify you as human after that. Yep. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. What happened to your – We had a cow in here, and it escaped. Where are they going? I think th they're getting on each other's backs and jumping over. See, I can't jump over this, but if I bring one of these <laughs> idiots over here – well, I don't have any wheat with me. Do they take seeds? No, you don't want no seeds? No, Stupid. Seeds. Stick, stick ball? No. Give him a bone Show it so he knows who the father is. They're not going to come over here. They're all a bunch of jerks. Jerks. <laughs> I haven't talked a lot about Minecraft in these last two. No, we haven't. I'm glad we're back. You remember, we play every day, 30 minutes. We're noobs. We're having fun. We get yep. to have conversations like this. About Are we going in the mine? Let's go to the mine. I mean, we'll, you you want to go in the mine? Well, that was the I think the whole reason I was doing that is that I needed to make sticks because I needed so I needed a bunch of wood. Yeah, you, know, you, of you can make sticks just in your hands, just walking around in the wild. You don't have to come to your crafting box. Mother of God! <laughs> Did you not know that? <laughs> Did you know that? I forgot. It's been so long since you I just can, said craft. You're right. You can make sticks, and but I can't make and I torches. Can, okay, just okay, in your in okay. your in your weird hands. I totally yeah, I had forgotten about in that. Your, in your that had been, hands. I had forgotten about that. Is this in your? I put my foot up on the table. Is this in your way? No, it's this is great. I'm right. having a good time. Well, we still need to go over here and make some stuff. Now okay. that you've made me a fool, it's on the internet. Make a million sticks. Make all the sticks. You know, and real quick, can we talk about how terrible being a parent is? Yeah, it's fucking it's some dumb kids like oh my balls, and you gotta be like show me your show me your balls. Show me your balls. Let me pull the tick off. Oh god. This yeah, is that's. I mean, it's one of those things like you never, you know, you know, like sort of what it's like because you have a dog, right? Like yes. Sometimes you're walking down the street with your dog and, and he eats something like, stupid. He's like, I'm gonna eat a bone, and yeah, you're like, yeah. no, don't. Well, there do goes that. my yeah. There goes my night. I gotta yeah. worry about this. Night. Yep. And then you're sitting there and you grab his mouth and you gotta pry it out or something. Like I saw this happen the other day. This this this. This lady on my street, she's walking a dog down the block, and the dog leans down and he eats a chicken wing. Yeah. And then he goes, uh, he, or she was like, P Piper, Piper, spit it out. And the dog doesn't Is understand Leah Jackson? that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the dog doesn't understand what that means because yeah. he's just like, I got a meat bone in my mouth. Blah, blah. And he doesn't understand words that are in English that were designed for a child. Yeah. So he's just like clunk, clunk, crunching it. And now she doesn't know, like – this could go back and destroy his internal organs. He could poop like a whole bone skeleton cemetery sure. out that kills him or something like that. Or he could be totally fine. Yeah. Luck of the draw. You never know. And well, most, that's, most of the time they're fine. Yeah, that's the whole thing of like, you know, Portillo is a nine-year-old wiener dog now. This summer he'll be nine. Mm -hmm. And so like I've been down the rabbit hole of like worrying. He does so much dumb stuff now. I just shrug my shoulders. Like, he's going to be yeah. fine. Oh, yeah. yeah, he ate an entire chicken wing, bone and all, it'll be, whatever. That's not his first one. It won't be his last <laughs> one. Oh, he ate something random off the street, whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because like, he's, he's like a sneak, right? Oh, yeah, he's real sneaky. That's yeah, why I, I, I tweeted about it the other day. That, like, we'll be walking. I, it's Like I said, nine years later, and I'm still, like, walking with this dumb dog, and he'll like, oh, man, he's really investigating this spot to pee on. No, he's eating something. He's eating <laughs> something gross, probably. 
I don't know if it's gross. I'm assuming it's gross because I've known him long enough to know. Well, it's also like we live we live in a, like a major city, and it's like you know it's 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 a beautiful city, but it's also kind of grimy. Yeah. Like if you and I lived in a farm town, and you were walking a dog down the street, you'd be like, oh, what did he eat? Oh, it's an apple core or like a corn cob pipe, or there was like maybe a dead bird he was smelling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But here it's like. Oh, what did he eat? Oh, I don't know. A crackhead's hand. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. It's so it's like you got to you stay on your toes the, the whole time. It's gross. That's why, you know, kids can wait. Because I think kids You have kids? Way. What are you doing? I don't think so. Yeah? Well, That's I what I like to hear. Yeah. I mean, you're not You're not either. Oh, right? God, no. Never. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Me and the fiance had a long talk. And no offense to all the children that listen to this show. You know, no, the kid. I mean, big I was, fan of your work. parents are more so. Yeah, kids are great. The kids are just like nodding their heads, like, "Yep, I'm pretty terrible." And then he, like, he picks up the Dr. Pepper in front of the computer and throws it at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that, mom? Because I yep. can. Yep. What balls, are you gonna do? You can't get rid of me. Balls covered in ticks. <laughs> He's just like chugging Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> eat, eat, eating chicken wings. <laughs> I don't know. I always think about it the way people are like, you know. They're like, you know, oh, would you, Greg and Brian, would you ever make video games? And we're like, no. I don't know. But that, I enjoy yeah. video games. Yeah. I think they're nice. I just don't want to spend th- 18 years uh, making one. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot of work. Because then at the end of the day, people are like, hey, your game sucks. Yeah. You know? Kids suck. Kids are the same way. And then <laughs> some idiot is like, oh, it's 7.5 or whatever. And then, you know, they get to lay off the parents. <laughs> it's metaphor. Wow, right a lot of this, <laughs> is, this is really deep. Yeah, it's very deep. Yeah, I'm just, I always talk about it. Like, I'm just too selfish to be a parent and your girlfriend's cool with that yeah she's the same way she's talked about hey, it we like having money and we like having freedom i mean like it's one of those things where even pr- i love pratillo you know yeah. what i mean like a lot yeah and he's like he tests my patience sometimes for the amount of responsibility mm-hmm. i want to have it's like oh yeah i'll totally go out to oh crap how we need you know we gotta take care of the dog it's like and that's just i'm gonna rent a car or you know zip car to go home to walk him to come back and that's like a little bit annoying yeah you know what i mean like let alone if it was like no i c- can't do anything ever again you know what i mean like this weekend, I marathoned House of Cards. I sat there and watched House of Cards nonstop, and yep. you know, and after doing a, a day of Titanfall nonstop, like I don't want to give that up. Yeah, because you imagine a kid sitting there and he's like, "What's a House of Cards?" Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. shut up, shut up. Are you like, "Hey, we're gonna go on sticky. vacation. Can I what, leave what you happened? in a in a cage at a place that has a picture of a dog on the window or whatever?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, in this case, it would be a baby. That's the great thing about dogs is like you can bring them to a dog hotel. And then you come back, and he's like, hey, how long have you been gone? Who cares? I don't know how time oh, I'm works. I'm so excited. Yeah. But a baby's got, like, a beard, and he's wearing a <laughs> I mean, so much change. you got, like, a hobo But I noticed, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that, like, a lot of people I know who are like, man, I can't wait to have kids. We're having a kid this fall. I'm like, great. Have you ever had a pet? And they're like, nope. And I'm like, maybe start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> baby steps. I but mean, no, not baby steps. Baby steps would be – jumping right into having a baby that's stepping but i mean you know small steps Brian, start, i, I start feel like we're going dog. crazy in minecraft because it feels <laughs> like i made a staircase to get out of here and then i come here and it's not here and it's just like what is going on how did i get out of here if i can't get down there do you think our world is like some glitch town where like things are coming and going i think it's the haunted monks yeah, pro- that's true. We did be- build our – we killed all those monks and took their place. You know, like in every horror movie, like somebody dies and they're like, wait a minute. We were just here yesterday. And it's like dun-dun-dun and everything changes. That, that's a good point. That's probably yeah. what's happening here. So, I don't know. 100. I think it's okay. I think we just have to keep digging deep. Whoa. Get the F out of here with your haunted mind. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sword do we have? Okay. Awesome one. sword. Kick ass sword. Oh, so somebody was explaining to me uh, how to get the trophy for um, shooting those dumb skeletons. Every block it's, is a meter. Yeah, so that's what they said blocks. that to us on Twitter. Yeah. I, so I, now, oh, we got some good, some good ores over there. Yeah. But now we just have to figure out how to tell if you're 50 blocks away from something. Yeah. Like that did not make the problem easier. We should just get really far from things. Yeah. That just made the problem different. Remember, ladies and gentlemen. Brian and I are noobs at Minecraft, but we fell in love with it when we started playing it on the PS3. So, we're doing these videos 15 minutes every day, every weekday. Let us have a weekend, alright? And then, I'm trying to platinum it at the same time. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're talking about right now. If you're like some PC gamer and you're all... What, like, uh, you have, you, have you gotten any trophies recently? I don't think so. Really? Yeah. I mean, because uh, there's a big difference between trophy hunting in this game and then mining while you watch Being Human. And that's yeah. usually what I do. Yep. See what that Sam Witwer is up to. He's a good man. He's a really good man. Um, so I ruined trophies in my game. I can't get them. How'd you do that? Because I went into creative mode, 
and I put like four blocks down, and then I saved, and I came out. It was like, hey, you cheated, basically. Well, so you can't get trophies. Well, just in that world. Yeah, in that world. Yeah, so okay, I'd, okay. I'd have to go start a whole new one. Oh, so you, t- you can take a regular world and make it creative? Yeah. Uh, you can jump back and forth between the two, but the second you save your survival to creative – because say I jump into creative and I build like a gold steel fortress that no skeletons can ever get into. Yeah. Then all of a sudden like I could go back into the, uh, into survival and I could get a trophy for like surviving against a billion blah, blah, blah because I got my gold fortress. Sure, sure, that's sure. That's cheap. So they want, you to, they want you to do everything organically, which makes sense. I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue mining when we come back tomorrow. Remember, 10.30, we'll put up another 15 minutes of Minecraft gameplay. Who the hell knows what we talk about? Yeah, I didn't knows? think we were talking about tick-covered balls, but there we Me are. Neither. That was yeah. this episode, right? Yeah. They all start good. running together pretty quick. <laughs> uh, make sure you check us out. Keep coming to IGN.com. You can go to YouTube.com slash Minecraft IGN where you just get these videos. Well, other Minecraft videos, too. Yeah. But mainly, we're the only one putting up any Minecraft content. Yep. It's not like Justin Davis suddenly is like... Here's a Minecraft video. Yeah, if he did, we'd have to kill him. Bobby isn't doing. Mo- I'd love to see Bobby doing some Minecraft. Let's. Yeah, please. me too. Let's it's get him in here. Boy, Bobby. Yeah. Let's get him here talking about these blocks. All right, cool. We'll do that this uh, next time around. Not All next right. time, like literally, because we're gonna do that video right after this video. Yep. And then, well, this week we take care of. Mm-hmm. But like Friday when we come in. Yeah. We'll, we'll do we'll some more. Bring in some friends. We'll be like, check All out right. what we built. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Brian, thank you. Thank you. Beyond.